hi everyone welcome back to our channel please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel today's lesson is toner shading techniques first one is called hatching here also we are looking at a tonal shading chart in which uh, the left most box will be the lightest tone and the right most box will be the darkest tone so you can start making the four boxes and uh, layer the tones that you want to create from light to mid to dark in these four boxes now as you can see I am creating the hatching which is the diagonal lines in my first one the second one is the cross hatching in this not just the diagonal lines but two-way diagonal lines or two or more way diagonal lines comes in place so you can uh, create the lines in way many different directions to be able to achieve the tone basically you are using a lot of lines in different directions I am using a 6B to achieve my darkest tone but you can also use the pressure of your hand if you do not have the shading pencils, the 6B pencils, the grade pencils that we call uh, with you at home. Pressure is the great way to achieve the tone even if you're not having the professional pencils. The third one is stippling since we cannot do it with the pencil is the reason we are using the pen now you can use any uh, black pen for this basically it's more achievable uh, with any fine liner rather than uh, using a black ballpoint pen um, I find it easy with this pen that I'm using at the moment so if you do not have this you can simply go with a black biro pen which is also known as a black ballpoint pen to achieve the first tone you should apply the dots far away from each other uh, as we get towards the mid and the dark tones we will have to start applying the dots closer to each other you can absolutely go back to the previous box if you feel that your tone needs more uh, building up you can put more dots you can always compare between the two tones and then keep building uh, to what you really need You can also google uh, some of the works which are done in stippling method and you can see the outcome and the result is really amazing so for the darkest stone make sure that you keep adding the dots until you're satisfied with your darkest stone it can definitely differ to what I have created here. It can go slightly darker than that. The fourth one is scribbling where we are going to use random preform lines to create different tones. Here also the same rule applies, first tone being the lightest, second and the third one being 
the mid tones and the fourth one is going to be the darkest tone that we're going to create keep layering with the random lines with increasing pressure to build mid and the dark tones you can use scribbly lines or any free form lines that you like um, I have used the 6B and the 4B pencil for my mid to dark tones and the darkest tone is being created by the 6B pencils underneath which I have also used uh, 4B and 2B uh, to get the layers. You can see which is which one and actually I forgot to number my boxes but you can do it right from the start uh, to see which are the lightest and the darkest tones that you're going to create. Now you are looking at a few images which you can use as your observation study material. Uh, now this image is also available on the internet but you can use this one for the reference or you can research your own. Um, you can also look at the shading that I am creating at the moment which will give you a clear picture of what to add where including the highlights, the core shadow, the casting shadow and the reflective light. Uh, you need to draw four circles with a very light hand. We are going to apply all the four techniques that we have just looked at in the form of a chart or a grid. Um, first one being the hatching. So you can start with your lightest tone in the whole sphere, leaving the area which should be the highlight where the light is going to fall. You must keep adding the layers in the diagonal direction to be able to achieve more and more tones gradually. the cross hatching is all about the crisscross uh, lines to be able to create the tones in a form now to add these tones you should be adding a variety of diagonal lines it can be straight horizontal but it should be crisscrossing a lot of intersecting lines will create a web like impact uh, which will create the darker tones and eventually more pressure and more layers will take you towards the darkest tones.
the stippling comprises of lots and lots of dots together is the reason it is absolutely time consuming but as i said before the outcome is really pleasing to the eye and we have lots of beautiful artworks being created in the similar technique so if you are intrigued with with stippling then you should definitely give it a try more dots means the darker tones lesser dots means the lighter tones but they should be equally spread across the area to be able to make it visually appealing and pleasing to the eye and to be able to achieve a tone Now I would not recommend you to uh, draw the casting shadow straight with the pen. Uh, you should definitely use a pencil to make sure that you are drawing it right and avoiding any mistakes. The last one is scribbling where you are creating a lot of random scribbles on your form but spread them equally and then layer them neatly onto your form to be able to achieve a tone it is very simple if you do it uh, with the different pressure of your hand and on the right place so once you use or observe the reference image very clearly then you can start looking at that image and try applying the same tones that you see 
on your reference image onto your drawing so that you can achieve the right amount of light and a shadow that you want to create. After completing these forms, we are going to move towards the artworks. Now to be able to use these similar techniques into creating an artwork will be really satisfying and after you practice this you will be ready to apply them onto an artwork so we can use them in any artwork that you want to create be it a flower a, a, a portrait or anything at all any still life and for that i'm going to upload a video very soon thanks for watching your suggestions and your feedback is most welcome